Good morning to my friends and family and welcome to this episode of Jim's 5am Club. Today I want to take you through a book entitled What It Takes to Be Free by an author named Darius Forvo. And this book was published on the 15th of August 2019 and is a book that offers a thought-provoking exploration of personal freedom and self-empowerment. Here are a few key takeaways to consider before we step through them one by one. True freedom lies within. Take responsibility for your life. Break free from dependencies. Develop self-awareness embrace discomfort and challenges, invest in personal growth and focus on building a meaningful life. So the first one, true freedom lies within. And we discover that whilst external freedom such as financial independence can be important to many, Real and meaningful freedom comes from a place called inner, inner freedom. Inner freedom is a state of being where we free ourselves wherever possible from limiting beliefs, negative emotions and the dependence on external factors and other people and things for our happiness. It is an intentional and conscious decision that you and I make to break free of the things that ensnare us and imprison us and where the prison has a lock where we have the key. So we just need to discover that we have the key to that prison. Once we decide to live our lives on our terms and not to be dependent on anything for our happiness, freedom and joy will follow naturally. The second point, taking responsibility for our life. We need to step up and take full responsibility for our life and how we react and respond to the things that happen knowing that our life happens for us. We need to stop becoming mismatches and stop blaming external circumstances for our situation and how we feel about it. By taking full ownership of our choices, thoughts and actions, we put ourselves in the driver's seat and have more certainty and impact on actively working towards and creating the life that we really want and desire. Remember that each choice, every action and every thought has a number of first, second and third level consequences that may deliver associated rewards and punishments. We all have a different fate from each other. And just as we've lived a different past, we're also going to live a different present and a different future from each other. Everyone's life is different in so many ways and that's what makes it valuable and great. We need to break free from all the dependencies that we have in life. So we need to identify and break free from these, these dependencies that hold us back, such as relying on others for validation fearing failure or being addicted to technology. We all have a lifetime given to us. Some will live three score and 10, others will live to 100, whilst others to 30 and others less. It is your life, it's your life, as Bon Jovi reminds us in that iconic song and we are called to live our lives to the fullest whilst glorifying and serving God and serving and loving our neighbours, whoever they may be. The fourth point is where we de develop 
self-awareness. We are all invited by the author um, to gain a deeper understanding of our thoughts, feelings and motivations. The self-awareness that comes with this um, enables us to understand that there are conscious choices that we make that allow us, where possible, to align those choices with the values and goals and allows us to be more practical and intentional with what we do rather than random. Of course we know that uh, we're, not all things are going to work out as we plan and dream, but life is much more rewarding and interesting if you pay more, if you pay more attention and have the ability to try and craft the life and express your calling rather than drifting aimlessly through life. The next point is where the author asks us to consider embracing discomfort and challenges. And this is a key point. We need to love leaning just outside our comfort zones because that's where the real wow is in life. Growth and development often happens outside our comfort zone. The joy in life comes through growth and development and becoming the person you were meant to be. Be willing to take measured risks, face bold challenges, and learn from your mistakes and successes, as well as learning from others as well, so that you can reach and express your full potential. The sixth point is where the author invites us to invest in personal growth. So it's all about continuous learning and developing our skills and expanding our knowledge base. This allows us to adapt, solve problems and navigate the complexities of life with greater freedom. By having more patterns in our inventory of solutions, you are better, you're in a better position to identify the patterns as they're playing out and presenting themselves to you and you'll be in a better position hence to solve the problems before they get bigger. The author also asks us to focus on building meaningful lives. Define what a meaningful life means to you and align your actions and choices with achieving that purpose. True freedom comes from living a life you find fulfilling and impactful. This is really important. You don't need to live somebody else's life, you need to live your life. So we need to learn to respond by thinking before we act, rather than reacting to stimuluses, uh, as this is what differ differentiates us from the animals in the animal kingdom. We need to live our life as the author says, we need to live our life and not to try and live our parents' life, our uncles, our aunts, our grandparents, our workmates, um, celebrities, other people's lives. Because when you're busy trying to live somebody else's life, you're not living authentically, you're just mimicking somebody else. So the key message to come from this author is that we all need to decide, we all need to step up, and we all need to do whatever we can to live the best life that we can and to express ourselves during our lifetime. So once again, in summary, the key points that came from this book is to understand that true freedom comes from within. We need ourselves to take responsibility for our lives, break free from all the dependencies that hold us back and uh, worry us, develop self-awareness to know where we're going and what we're doing, embrace discomfort and challenges, invest in personal growth and focus on developing our own meaningful life where we're serving God and loving and serving our community.